All right, listen up, everyone. If you saw season two, part one of this series, thank you. However, we are getting into chapter 11, which brings us to season two, part two. So, you already know who this is, let's just get into it. Chapter 11, Jane Vincent's Torment. Strapped to a bed in a sick ward. Yeah, a sick ward. It sounds like it is. Or I should say, a psych ward. Oh. So. This chapter can be very, very disturbing for viewers. So, click off now unless you like disturbing content. Oh, anyways. This is the first lines of chapter 11. Test one. Sorry, Jane, said Tane as she pulled the lever and electrocuted her as she was just strapped in the bed crying. Stop it. Someone help me, said Jane as she screamed. Then red blood was dripping down from her face as she had a twisted smile. I seem to like this. Oh, more blood is coming out of my eyes, said Jane, as she giggled in madness with her tongue sticking out of her mouth. Then the next day, Jane was getting hit by a hammer as they drugged her. But as she was strapped to a chair, she had been hit in the face by a wrench as she was at a breaking point. It feels good. More hit me. Gah, who are you? Said Tane as Jane had leaned forward with her eyes so wide as they bled as she had blood coming from her nose and mouth with a twisted smile. Because of her twisted, tormented self and her mind broken, her, her eye color had turned white and red. Jane Vincent was now a broken personality of Cindy Beth. Want to know something, Tane? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I'm going to kill you, said Jane as she got free. Jane then carved a smile on her face from the inside of her mouth. Jane was now Cindy Beth with smile all combined. You get Twisted Cindy Jane, a.k.a. Twisted Cindy Beth. Jane, where are you going, said Tane as she pointed a Glock 17 at Twisted Cindy Beth. Shut up! <laughs> I'm not Jane. I am Twisted Cindy Beth. I'll make you bleed too, screamed Twisted Cindy Beth as she had blood dripping out of her twisted smiled mouth with her nose bleeding and her eyes wide and white and red. They were bleeding too as her hair turned red and black. She wore black gloves and a red, black striped shirt and black shorts and black boots. She then went to the roof and jumped off backwards as Tane failed to stop her. She went to the home of Greg, Molly, and Julie. <laughs> they will die at all costs, said Twisted Sunday Beth. As she kicked the door down with an axe and searched to kill Greg, Molly, and Julie. And that's chapter 11 done. What that explains, viewers, Meow. is what the heck? Where'd you come from? Don't mind her. But what this chapter explains is she's broken. I mean, you go through all that torment and you're not coming back normal. 
thus leads us to a different point in the story, and this being a hide and seek uh, episode. Yeah. But it's not a friendly hide and seek, no. It's a lot different than that. So this is chapter 12, Twisted Cindy Beth Hunts for a Hiding Seat Game of Greg, Molly, and Julie. Are we gonna be okay, said Julie, as Greg was hiding behind a couch with Julie. I think we're okay. Wait, where's Molly at? Said Greg in a panic as Twisted Cindy Beth walked up stairs. With a look of horror as her head leaned to the left and the right. Meanwhile, in Molly's room. Oh shit. She knows where I am. Said Molly as she loaded a pistol. Then hid under the bed. I'm okay. I'm gonna be fine. I'm okay. Said Molly. As she looked to the right. Then looked to the left. Then the right again. And saw twisted Cindy Beth. Looking at her with a evil look. Long day, huh? Come here, said Twisted Cindy Beth. As she grabbed Molly by the legs and dragged her out on, from under the bed. As she then looked at each other. Molly quickly stood up as Twisted Cindy Beth swung the axe at Molly's chest. Ah! Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. Did it hurt? Good, you son of a bitch. Here's some more, said Twisted Cindy Beth with a look of rage and terror as she cut off Molly's left leg. Gah! Please, have mercy, said Molly as Twisted Cindy Beth leaned in and said, I have no mercy. Then she sliced off Molly's head with a chainsaw, then went to a lake at 10 p.m. What fun, huh? Ah, no, I can't leave yet, said Twisted Cindy Beth as her eyes turned white and gray again. And as her face had turned to normal, her hair turned full red as she passed out with the blood washed off. Jane Vincent was in control. When I woke up, I was in a maze of flowers. Chapter 12 done. So this being the last episode or chapter that concludes season 2. I think. Yeah, it is. Chapter 13, Jane versus Tane and Julian Gray. Or wait. No, it's Tane versus Jane and Julian Gregg. I can hear yelling. And why am I wearing my black shirt and black pants and black boots? Thus, I can hear gunfire, said Jane Vincent as she ran. She saw Gregg was dead in a pool of his own blood on the ground. Damn it, Gregg. He's dead, said Jane as she saw Julie hurt on the ground as Tane swung her scythe Jane pushed her away and stuck her right arm out to the left as Julie got up do not hurt Julie or else shut up said Tane as she chopped off Jane's right arm then put the blade in her chest then sliced out her eyes as Jane fell to the ground blind, a lot of blood dripped down her face and out of her right stub. As Jane tried to stand, she fell down again, screaming in pain, as she used her legs and left arm to crawl on the ground. That would have to hurt, as her response is... Ah, it hurts! I can't... See, Julie, where are you? Gah! I'm here too. Save, save yourself, 
or I am here too as well, and I can save you. Accept my power, said Cindy Beth, as Jane took her power as her right arm and eyes grew back as her hair turned black. Her eyes were blue. Cindy Beth, a.k.a. the devil, was back in her body. Disappear from here, said the devil as she shot Tane with a forty-four magnum bullet in the head. Tane had fell backwards dead. It's good to be back. Fuck. Wait, how this happened? I'm pregnant? Two months later... I gave birth to a girl. I will name you Rebecca Samuel Beth, said the devil. As as a doctor checked her pulse, she was dead. Two years later, Rebecca was 14, with brown hair, green eyes, normal white skin, a blue shirt, blue pants, and black shoes. I'm ready for school, said Rebecca, as she entered the school and soon learned that she's the Antichrist. That's season 2, chapter 13 done. My stories feel shorter and shorter by the time. But as you may know, that I am working on season 3 at the moment. But, if you read all the chapters together, and don't count the seasons, and you mash them together as one... They begin to feel longer. Now I'm going to try to make a goal for this one. Known as well. Me. Trying to make this one a bit longer. However. I will probably. Make this one short. But I am into making this series. It's good and I like it. So, this has been Messiah Mahasa Final Winter Anime here. Won't you hit the like button and the bell notification so you're notified for more manga read alongs like these. Of my own, of horror and darkness, obviously. And gaming lore videos, etc., with game stuff, I don't know. Like the video and comment if you want. Go check out Lazy Gaming 7780's channel. And that being said. I'm out of here. Peace out, y'all. I will see you in the next manga video, probably. That being uh, the next part of the Serpent Emblem series. I mean, that one is a pretty good one. But for now, I am out of here. Peace out, y'all.